everybody welcome back to the channel I'm not sure what it was about the last video I posted about five days ago but I was looking at it earlier that video has over 800 views and since that video I've gained uh, about 20 subscribers to the channel which is really awesome so thanks for the continued support and also thanks to the new people that have subscribed to the channel here recently get started with this evening this evening's video i just want to give a little bit of a preview to those that are new to the channel we are a sixth sixth generation cattle farm located here in eastern tennessee we run a uh, cow calf operation um, we've got 24 mamas and a herd bull um, we like to have our calves born about the october november time frame and then uh, of course we'll fatten them up and sell them anywhere between mid-April to the 1st of May depending on when the local calf feed, feed or calf sale is then also um, of course we'll do our own hay and all that so thanks for joining the channel and uh, hopefully y'all stick around on this evening's video I want to talk about this creep feeder right here behind me our calves are uh, right at the age um, to where creep feed is going to be beneficial for them um, we don't normally start feeding our calves till they're about three months of age because that's when their rumen and everything is more developed to where the feed will be beneficial to them so um, before we get this thing loaded down with two and a half to three tons of creep feed um, I just want to go over it this evening just kind of do a nut and bolt check just go over it kind of from top to bottom make sure um, there's not gonna be any issues because I'd rather if there's gonna be issues I'd rather or would rather find them now um, then when there's two and a half to three tons of feed in it Spray a little. well dang it Hard to put any slickum on anything when the slickum can won't work. Dang it. My can of slickum ain't working. I'm just gonna do a just kind of a quick glance over everything. Make sure everything's <laughs> and uh, all that is there, there's a little auger inside this creep feeder. That you can spin that and that kind of mixes up the feed and if there's any big chunks that get down you can just spin it and it'll hopefully break them apart but uh just kind of a quick glance looks like everything is bolted to where it should the pins are where the pins should be of course just gotta do a little cleaning on the edges of course um, just a little bit of feed there and some moisture um, not a whole lot but want to get that cleaned out before we do get this thing full of feed that some of you all know that follow the channel but for those that uh, may not have a clue um, or the purpose of a creek feeder um, this is a feed master brand picked up at uh, our local co-op 165 bushel um, that's roughly two and a half to three ton of feed of course depending on what kind of feed you put in it um, we usually just put two and a half these gates here um, slide up and down there's one there and one there and there's two on the other side and uh, you, the purpose of those is to adjust the flow of feed as the calves of course will start eating it and the feed will slowly trickle down on that side and also this side here because this creep feeder comes down and then it starts sloping down and then there's like a V here in the middle which of course lets the feed come out for the calves kind of an overview of this evening's video just kind of done a nut and bolt check everything of course the wheels are tight the bolts are where the bolts should be all the pins and everything works as it should and also i just wanted to kind of give a once over and uh i'm sorry if it was confusing 
but uh, if you have any questions about uh, this creep feeder um, don't be afraid to leave something down in the comments and I'll try to explain it the best that I can but that's going to be it for this evening's video hope you all liked it and if you did don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up and if you want to get notifications in the future new videos just hit that subscribe button and the little bell that says all off to the side but other than that um, I'm going to finish up here and uh, I'll see you on the next one